Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at one of the biggest Class C's that has the best value. It's the best price point. There's nothing fancy about this. This is dollar for dollar, one of the best values in the RV industry. This is a 2021 Coachman Crosstrek model 30XG. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the World Joint Channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at this Coachman Crosstrek. It's really new, it's awesome and nice and a great price point. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going? It's going good, we're in Tampa and yes. I'm, I'm super excited because Matt, I've never seen a Crosstrek this big. Yeah. Um, does it have slides? No. And what does XG stand for? Extra good value. Yay! <laughs> I made that up, but how are you today? I'm good. I'm actually really excited because I've only ever seen the small cross tracks. Yes. So I hope you guys are, are excited to see this. Yeah, and I'm excited too because not every, like Andre and I, we like bougie. We like the esteems and the leprechauns and the quantums. We like that stuff, but not everybody is Matt and Andrea and some people like to kiss an RV. Do you know what that means? To be very close to it. No, kiss, oh. as in keep it simple, stupid. Oh! The less features or the better features. Andrea, wow. let's begin. Is that something you just coined? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, you ready? Model is Coachman Crosstrek 30XG. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 31 feet, four inches. This is the Coachman Crosstrek. It's, it's, it's their entry level Class C market in competition with the Freelander, okay? You have the fiberglass front cap up there. Very nice. And then check this out. Even though this is a longer motorhome, it is built on the E350 chassis because it doesn't have the weight. So look at this Crosstrek. This one has the slide out, so they put it on the E450. No slide outs, it's a lot lighter weight, so that's why they use the E350, and it helps save you money as well. You do have cameras on the left side, right side, and reverse. Oh, and even though it's a 350, it does have the new 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla! 350 horsepower, 468 foot-pounds torque. <laughs> and then look at these tires, Andre, they're the Dynapros. Hand cooks. Yeah. LT-225-75R16. And we do have the shiny rims right there. Coming on down the side here, you do have these nice aluminum running boards. Help makes it easy to get in and out. Nice big mirrors right here. You know what I'm saying? I do like how they have the side cameras. A lot of times with price point units, they won't put side cameras. You know, this the Crosstrek reminds me of a sporty look. Yeah, Doesn't it? yeah, yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt. Coming on down the side here, we do have, oh, oh man, wow. they actually gave it to you. The TV and the sound bar outside. Normally, a lot of times the value units, the, the XGs, the extra good deals don't come with they stuff don't. like that. So that's wow. pretty nice. This Andrea is your propane tanks and here, bing, is all the specifications about this motorhome. We also have the specs down in the description below. Awesome. And then non-frameless windows, I'm not mad about that. But look at this, a huge power awning with uh, LED lights. Yes, let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. That is a big awning. Nice, huge power awning with LED lights. Look at that, Andrea. Have you seen an awning this big? Um, Yes. Oh. But it is pretty big. It's really big on a motorhome this size. And because this is a Coachman motorhome, they do use Asdale sidewall composite, which is a green base material that will never delaminate on you. You got your water heater right there, very nice. Right over here, it's a little uh, little spigot thing pss, if you want to have some water. <laughs> Power right there. Um, that is the propane quick connect. Propane quick connect. And a dog, is, no, that's not a dog leash. What no. is that? That's going to be a, a place to dump your tank for the other oh, side. Oh, okay. And then Andre, notice how there's no storage over here, right? I know. Kind of funky, but look at this. 
Okay. Oh, wow. Look at how huge that is. Oh, but don't my angle goodness. up. Just hang on. Okay. You ready? Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that storage. That's crazy. That is amazing. This is the biggest storage I've ever seen. You got up there, it goes down to here and everything. Oh my gosh. And that then it's crazy. And then check this out, Andrea. Look at this. You have a nice metal bumper for your stinky slinky. You pull this. Oh. Look at that. Say you hook stuff up here, you hook stuff up there. I'm not like your fishing rods, you know, equipment, stuff like that. There is so many uses you can make for this. Look at this. Wow, that is that is really awesome. I mean, imagine if you're like a salesperson that goes to flea markets, you literally can display a lot of your stuff right in here and then you close up and go. Oh yeah, there good so, point. There's so many good features about this. Good point, and I love how they have that step there. Yep, you do have a 5,000 pound hitch. Um, I don't know how the towing situation is going to go with that bumper. Should be pretty interesting. But uh, and we have a backup camera on the back. It, was there one? I think so. Uh, I can't see anymore. Yep, yep, there sure is. And then right over here, Andrea. The other it's side. The other side of that storage. Yes, ma'am. Nice. Man. Yep. Wow. Finishing up on the driver's side. This is where you're gonna dump your black and gray tanks. Okay, unleaded fuel, hook up right there. This is where you fill up your, you got your black tank flush, you fill up your water, city water connection, potable water fill, potable, potable. And here's where you put your 30 amp. And then here is a Cummins Onan 4000 gasoline generator. Okay, let's go, I'm excited. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. Don't forget the cargo carrying capacity. Two thousand twenty-two pounds. Wow. CCC. Okay, guys. No slides in here. Yes, ma'am. All right, so I'm walking up to the front. Lots of light in here. Okay, so look at this. It's like this all the time. And look at this big walkway. Wow. Big walkway. Here is the bathroom and the shower. And I'm loving that you can still use the bed. There's no slides in here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. I love how bright it is. Very nice. And Andrea, real quick, before we begin on the inside, we want to take another second to thank the sponsor, My Waggle. My Waggle is the RV Pet Digital Thermostat and it notifies you via text message if you lose power, if it gets too hot or cold, or if, you, if the humidity gets high. The whole point is, if you have a pet, make sure you check out our video about My Waggle. It's the best way to protect your fur babies if you sometimes leave them in the camper while you go out other places. These are hot boxes. It's 70 degrees here and I'm sweating already. That's how hot these units get. And so if you bring your pets camping with you, make sure you get a My Waggle. We have a huge discount when you use our code down below. You guys, make sure you protect your fur babies. Absolutely. Andrea, let's begin up here. Okay. So one thing I want you to notice, please sit in the co-captain seat, Andrea. Okay. We got cup holders here. We got your camera right there and everything, Ooh. okay? So check this out, Andrea. Can you tell me the difference between the 350 cab and the 450 cab? Um, no, the only thing I know is that the 450 is a bigger engine and it can haul more, but nope. I still feel this, I Keep, still feel the same leg room. So you are right and wrong. The difference between the 350 chassis and the 450 chassis is not the engine. Same exact engine and everything, the difference in the front up seat area is nothing. It's the same. Yeah. The only difference is the 350 is gonna have um, stronger framing, so it's better for a higher cargo carrying capacity, which you would need if you had slide outs, but with 2,022 pounds, that's already so much cargo. The average person puts 800 pounds in. Right. So now you're, they're saving the customer $3,500 to go from the 350 
from the 450 to the 350. That's why I like it on this unit. Now, Absolutely. I will say this, there is some units that I hate that they put a 350 on because their cargo carry capacity is so low. But this one, I don't have a problem with it. How does it, it feel? It's comfortable, you know, I'm very, I'm comfortable up here. I like, you know, that it has the arms. Yep. Um, I don't think I can put the seat back too far because of that. Oh, oh actually, no. But that's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. But it's, it's comfortable. And then right here, you're gonna see your side cameras, left side, right side, and reverse and everything. Okay, and then we do have a bunk over the cab right here. Yes, ma'am. Max weight is 350 pounds. 350 pounds, okay. And then your TV's right there. It is a Furion TV, I do like that. Oh, and then look what they did with the driver's seat. They put the little cutout there. Oh, so, so the you driver's can lean seat, back a yeah, little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, okay, be careful when you pull that TV out because of the ladder right there. I do like how Coachman always puts safety netting yeah. that you can buckle right up there. Okay, and then the Furion TV does swivel around uh, for an uh, okay TV placement. And then in the living room, okay, look at this. No cabinetry up there, but they give you a nice big window. Different, I like that. Right here, you have these types of blinds. I'm not a huge fan of those blinds. Me either. But again, this is a price point unit. You won't believe it. We do have the triple sofa seat belts here. Believe it or not, kind of comfortable, you know? Um, that does this, jackknife. This normally isn't my cup of tea when it comes to sofas. And then it does jackknife to make a decent sized bed. What I love about this motorhome is this is the way that it is all times. When you're camping, when you're parked up, when you're driving. So that is a very nice feature. And then across is the dinette. Oh, there's going to be no jacks on this as well. Yeah, no jacks. Price point. There's the cabinetry above. Light, nice white, light, bright cabinetry. Big window right here. And then again, look at this. Seatbelts over there and seatbelts over here. There's so many seatbelts in here. It is so nice. And then this table does drop down to make another sleeping area. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. You ready for this? I am ready. MSRP on this motorhome here is... $103,039, Andrea. That is MSRP. Wow. Sale prices, you guys can see there currently with how the market is, uh, we can't advertise sale prices because they're all over the place. But Andrea, I know we'll be able to get people a lot better deal than that. You won't be in the six digits, you will be in the five digits, guaranteed. And Andrea, if somebody wants to get the best price in America, Tell everybody what they need to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or go to MetsRVReviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. Or the best thing to do, guys, the best way to get in contact is by going to MetsRVReviews.com. There you will see a contact, you'll see three contact tabs. You're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to a member, I am at, blah, 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 <laughs> a member of my team, and we will get you the best price in America. If you have questions about this RV, perfect. Click tab number two. That sends an email to Will and myself, and we get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Or if you just have a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Andrea, it doesn't matter if anybody clicks tab three, two, or one. There is one thing that every tab will always give them. They'll get the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Andrea. Let's continue the video. Okay, hold on, Matt, real quick. I just want to show this. Look at this pretty cabinet right here that yeah. they put up here. And then you got all these USBs. Very nice. I thought that was cute. Great use of storage. Yes. Okay, so here is the kitchen. Here are some cabinets. Yes. Nice big storage. I like how they did the gray and the white. It looks nice. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I like to give you a window. I'm not a fan of mini blinds myself. Nope, nope, I it concur. It is what it is. Okay, we got a double sink here, and we got a microwave. Okay. Interesting backsplash. Yes, I like it. Here's your little hood range, three burner, cooktop, Magic Chef. Ooh, Magic Chef. And I like Magic I, Chef. I do too. I like that they have an oven. 
and then we got a cabinet here. I like the little logo man on it. And Doesn't that look like me if I wore a chef's hat? I don't think this is a drawer. I'm scared no, to open it. No, it's not a point drawer. Drain. Does that look like me? It does. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a two-way refrigerator. Runs off your propane and shore power. Sure does. Nice, good size there. Yes, ma'am. And that's the kitchen. Yes. Okay. okay. It's now time for the tall test. Or not the tall test, just the shower. I'm not even tall. Good. Good for me. It's a 24 by 36 shower. Would have liked a little bigger shower, but then it would have made it more narrow right here. Love the um, Nautilus door. Yeah. And Andrea, I just saw something. What? I can't tell you. Okay. It's amazing. If you guys are still watching, you do not want to miss what's going to happen in a few seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to you, I did not know what I just saw. Okay. And now I know what it is. Oh my God, just stay tuned folks. In this bathroom, oh, this motor home, if, I'm sorry, if what I just saw is what I think I just saw, this has instantly become one of my most favorite classy motor homes on the planet. Is that weird? No. Just like that. Okay, Oh let's my see. God. Okay. Okay, show that. Really big. Slow, slow, slow. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> you make everybody dizzy. Yep, really big. Nice um, little sink area. Okay. Okay. Oh, All right, though, I think we got a plastic toilet. I think we do too. Plastic toilet. Womp, womp. But or a pedestal. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not super mad about that. Like, I'm not happy about it. But again, this is price point. This is on an E350. This has no slide outs. This is designed to be as lightweight as possible and the price is right. But um, you can always swap that out to a porcelain toilet. Um, but okay. Andrea, time has come. Okay. You ready for this? I, I know, I already, I already saw that. <laughs> Our favorite thing that Coachman does, and we don't always get to see it, but look at this. Wow. Underneath the bed, this is what wow. you have. That is so cool. You have I this, love this so the little, much. You can sit well, here, you put ready? your shoes on. Yep. Look, that, look, look, hang on. <laughs> it's for chubby people, seriously. Look, I cannot tie my shoe without sitting down. Look at this, this is wonderful. You have drawers. I love it. Oh man, is there I any drawers? I love it. This is so Two cool. Two drawers at the bottom too. Yep, yep. It is the cutest thing, I'm, you know, and... And it makes it so you can get dressed. You can get yes. changed in here. Look, I mean, you know, you're taking off your clothes, you're putting your pants on, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is such a nice feature. I did wish it went up a little bit higher, but I'm really not mad about it. I mean, and look at the space. Yeah, I mean, because walking look, around I mean, the bed. You expect me to get changed right here. Right. You know, that's not happening. So there's the wardrobe there. Yes. You got two drawers there. Yes. And I see a, at least a little bit of a nightstand down there. A little there. bit, yep, good for yourself. Outlet. outlet. And then over here, the same thing. Same. Fold on map. Oh, you're going to show those? Yep. Okay. And then there is a hole right there. For the uh, CPAP. CPAP. Yep. Got USBs under there, guys. Speakers. Here's the other wardrobe. That is a queen size bed. Yep. Yep, for sure. And then you got the two drawers. And over here, you could have uh, your TV over there. You can mount that because there's a, a coax and the electrical outlet. And Matt, yes. Um, I did forget. Okay. To re there is not a door on here, is there? What do you mean? A pocket door. Okay. So there's not a pocket door on the bedroom, but you have. Oh yeah, no. So that, that is the one thing that I don't oh. see is privacy here. Okay. No, great point. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Before you go on any farther. It's now time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it, Andrea. What do we do first? Three things we dislike about it. Yes. Would you like to go first? <laughs> I'm going to go first. What's your first thing? Uh, okay, so it, it needs to have a privacy door. Yes. At least here or here. Yes, uh, at least this door could be open for or, privacy. And then you could have a magnet. Exactly, but exactly. We, I understand why, you know, they're doing this, but you, even though I don't like accordion doors. Even a curtain. An accordion door would have been fine. Yep, yep, for sure. Nope, yeah, they definitely. Better than nothing. And he's sure it's not over there? Like, no, I'm, I'm definitely, definitely yep. not seeing it. And it's, I. It's okay. Yeah, there, There is no privacy right here, so. Okay, that is number one. 
I'm glad we thought of that one because this is a really great motorhome. It is. Um, Absolutely. And it, I can sing praises to it all day. I have a number two, but follow me first. I wanted to make sure. Number two, no stabilizing jacks. I have absolutely no problem that there is no auto leveling like this, but two jacks in the rear just to stabilize right. would have been a really nice feature. Yes. So that is number two. Do you have a number three? Um, yes, I do. Good. Okay. All right. I don't see a lot of storage in here. I, I know the window, I know the window's in the way right here, but you know, having a, a separate place for food, like a pantry, mm. there's just not a lot of storage. Yep, yep, I concur. So that that's, that's my dislike, guys. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so that's three things we don't like about this motorhome. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. I'm going first. All right. I love how that back bed flips up out of the way. I love that feature. I love when every coachman does that. It is fa absolutely fantastic. It's one of my favorite features about it. And it is just, it's absolutely great. And I love that feature. That is number one. Number two. Talk to me. Outside. No, no. Yes, yes. We'll finish up with that. Oh. So well, I'll do was, number that two. That was my light, my, my light. I, well, well, I'm going to do number two and then you can okay. wrap it up with number three. Number two, I love how there's no slide outs in here. I love the color choices. I love the way it feels. This does not feel cramped whatsoever. It doesn't. The way they designed this is so smart um, and it feels big and spacious. And again, this is what it is when you're driving down the road, when it's open, when it's closed, every time, this is just absolutely amazing. And then Andrea, what's number three? Number three? We're oh. following you. Number three is this amazing storage in the back. Yes. Access to it from all sides. And look at this fabulous, fabulous. Put your head through. Ooh, I can't see wind's all blowing in my face. <laughs> talk, talk to us about I it. I love it. Access to the storage on all three sides of the motorhome. And in the back here, you have this big door. Look at this, that you could step up onto and you can just put things up here. I mean, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna combo that with that metal bumper right there. Yes. That is awesome and badass, to be honest with you. There's no other word, there's no other word except badass. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review, that's the Crosstrek 30XG. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. In a few seconds, if you're in the market for a Class C motorhome, very similar to this one, we're going to put its competitors right there and there. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Coachman does read the comments, you guys, and they watch the videos. So, you know, they want to see what you have to say about this floor plan. Yes. Um, also, if you haven't gotten a chance to get a My Waggle, if you have pets, you guys, uh, we're, the promotion will be ending soon. So yes. make sure you take advantage and get that discount. Perfect. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thank you guys absolutely so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.